Mary Fett here. I just wanted to do a video about my trip to Japan actually. Uh, my brother and sister both re recently started their own YouTube accounts. The brother is Dire Situation. He does Minecraft videos. And my sister is M's Embellished Imagination. Imagination with an E. And she does speed paint videos. And they really just kind of reminded me what I enjoy and appreciate about video media and making videos. So, and I'm kind of bored. I'm waiting for my roommate to come home so we can make oden, which is Japanese hot pot, if you all don't know. Um, so I thought I'd do a video and we can talk about my upcoming trip to Japan, or I can talk about it rather. It's been quite a process planning this trip and I can't even plan all of it ahead of time like I'm used to. In normal domestic travel, I've only ever needed to book my hotels or accommodations, uh, book my plane tickets, and then maybe book my car rental. Um, food otherwise is pretty low-key, you don't really plan it too much, and activities you don't really plan too much, and other transportation or anything is, well if you have a car, you take your car that you rented, or if you have friends that live nearby, they chauffeur you around your entire time. However, Japan is a very different story. I have my hostels booked, I have my planes booked, but I I'm going to be hopping between four different cities once I'm there. So I'll be Nagoya, Nara, Osaka, and Kyoto, and then back over to Nagoya at the very end. And to get around Japan, I can't drive. I probably could rent a car, but why would I do that? Driving in Japan is ridiculous when they have this expansive train system. So I'm taking the trains everywhere, but there's so many train companies, there's so many different stations and railways and it's been overwhelming. I have had nightmares about missing my trains or getting on the wrong train um, in the stations. I'm already dreaming about that. So the anxiety is still high, but I booked my five day ticket for Kintetsu Railway, which is kind of the cheaper local option in the Kansai region rather than Japan Rail, which is much how can I say? It's much more expensive. There, I said it. It's more expensive. And I'm on a budget, so. But the local trains that I will need, because the five-day pass will not cover the whole six or seven days that I'm there, so the local trains I will need to take and the local transportation passes that include buses and trams and whatever kind of public transit that they may have, I have to buy at the local stations, which is fine. It's fine, but... It makes me a little on edge because it's like, okay, I don't have this lined up and ready to go. Not the end of the world, but it's something that I've been thinking about and I'm a little on edge. In other news, I have been stocking up on all of my random little things that I will need. One of which, I'm really proud of this one, is my little travel pillow thing. So most people you'll see with those big obnoxious neck rolls that just kind of live on your shoulders like a parasite. And I hate them. Yep, I said it. I hate them because you have no place to put them. They have to stay here. They're not a necklace, guys. They're not. Um, and they look really touristy. And while I understand I look, will look like a tourist no matter what when I'm in Japan because I am not Asian, I the less that you can look like a tourist, the better. Um, you'll get scammed less. Not that scamming is a major issue in Japan. It's not. And you just will look less dorky. And while I am a dork, I like not looking dorky. Um, although I'm about to look really dorky right now. So how this thing works, it's a scarf, like a wrappable scarf pillow thing. But it's structured, so there's wiring on the inside. And what you do is you just wrap it around your head, and you put the little Velcro thing there, if I can get it. You just rest your head on it. If it stays, I can't get it to stay. But you just rest your head on it, and you can sleep, and your neck hopefully will not be in a kink. And it's something soft and cozy right by your face, which I love having my blankets like right here. So it should be perfect. Um, and then when you're done with it, you can take it off, and you can fold it up and just shove it in your bag. <laughs> there is my dorky moment for the day. But I'm really excited about it. I will be on the plane overnight from LA to Shanghai for 12 hours. And it will be 
it's an overnight flight, so it'll be dark the whole time, the whole 12 hours. So I'm hoping I can sleep most of that time and not be a super tired grump with major jet lag when I arrive in Shanghai and then after that into Nagoya. So it's super exciting. Also been brushing up on my Japanese because while I know the train stations and the airports have English on their signs as well, um, it is just good to know Japanese and I just don't remember as much as I should for having studied it for four years. So I'm brushing up, going through all of my second and third year textbooks from college and hopefully we'll be okay. I finally remember the word, the verb for to turn, like to turn a corner. It's magaru, by the way. Um, so like if you turn left, hidari ni magaru. Or right, migi ni magaru. But um, hopefully that goes well. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because it's my first time going abroad ever and, you know, figuring out customs and what am I allowed to bring into the country and what am I not allowed to bring out of the country and making sure that I just don't, I don't get pulled aside and, you know, detained is the ultimate goal here. Um, but any tips that you travelers may have that have gone abroad and done all of that fun jazzy stuff. Let me know in the comments below um, if any tips about Japan as far as logistics goes or like good places to see. I'm pretty booked up in Nara and Osaka. I'm gonna go see the Nara deer and bow to them and they're gonna bow to me and it's gonna be great. I'll get videos of that. And Osaka's pretty booked up too. I'm only there for a day but I have four days in Kyoto. So if you have any suggestions on things for me to do in Kyoto because I have like literally nothing planned let me know in the comments and I can check it out and see for myself how amazing it is. Um, it is Hanami season when I will be there so there will be cherry blossoms everywhere and cherry blossom flavored everything so there will be a lot of pink going on as well. Um, also if you have any tips about international travel in general or Shanghai Pudong Airport especially I will have a six hour layover there and I would like to get the most of my make the most of my experience while there let me know in the comments as well. Also, you should consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I don't have a lot of videos and they're not very good quality right now. I'm working on that. Um, but the more subscribers I have and the more people watch my videos, the more motivated I will likely be to make more videos for you and to figure out my editing program and soft software much sooner than I have so far. Um, so subscribe, watch my videos, and you may see more videos if you keep doing that. Alternatively, follow me on social media at WanderingFet. On Facebook and Twitter, it's all one word, and on Instagram, it's Wandering underscore Fet, or that way. Uh, Instagram's beautiful because I love photography, and that's one of my better skills, along with writing, but I've been a little lazy about the writing these days. I'm bad. I know. <sighs> I need to prioritize my life better. Um... But follow me on social media. The, I post there much more regularly than I do on YouTube and more regularly than my website right now. But also check out my website, wanderingfet.com. And the more followers I get, the more people engage with me, the more I will create wonderful content for your viewing or reading pleasure. Um, so follow me. Let me, hit me up in the comments with tips on literally anything that may be relevant to this video or to me as a travel blogger. And um, stay tuned for more videos or social media posts or blog posts or whatever I happen to crank out next. It will be exciting and very soon there will be chip chip stuck. I can't talk. Very soon there will be stuff about Japan. So that will be wonderful. Thanks for humoring me in my desire to make this video and I will check you next time. See you later.